Hi, Bob Coates here from Bob Coates Photography and Successful-Photographer.com. And uh, remember we left off, we had step and repeat. We had the introduction uh, neighborhood. If you haven't seen that video, you may want to go find that one before you play with this one. But this is level two, a.k.a. the next step for creating more depth and more interest in your images. When we left off at the other one, we had... Uh, created uh, a, a simple image from a single horn and we did 20 copies of it in the step and repeat fashion and we merged them all together and I got rid of the individual layers so that we wouldn't get confused on these um, so we just have the the background layer there now uh, does it look great on the white not necessarily uh, but what I want to do is let's play a little bit and see if we can do some more things to add some more interest. So Command or Control J, remember, will make a copy of our layer. And what we can do is go to the Transform tool. And that's uh, Command or Control T. And it, when you're moving something around there, if you don't constrain the proportions, it can get really funky. And since we're working with very... Uh, geometric shapes and things. We want to hold down the shift key so that constrains the proportions. But if we were to take this and put it over here and just be left, um, we would have a hard time. I want to make it, you know, centered along with the other one. The way to do that is instead of just holding down the shift key, if we also hold down the option or alt key, now it constrains the proportions and brings the image directly to the center. So now we've got, uh, let's see, let's fill in that. I didn't didn't like this empty space down here, so I wanted to kind of do something with that, and maybe right about there. I like how this kind of feels. Now again, this is all stuff that you'll play with and decide, you know, how you like it. So we'll go ahead and hit the return or enter key to accept that transformation. Now we've kind of filled in that that center spot. Okay, so we want to highlight our background and hit Option Delete. And look, we've filled it with the foreground color. If you wanted to fill it with the background color, it could be Command Delete. So these two colors are controlled by the Option and Alt key or the Command Control key, uh, which is kind of cool. So we could quickly change our color by going to our color picker. Black was a little bit heavy duty, so I'm going to go to a, a dark gray let's say let's put the dark gray in there and say okie dokie option or alt delete now we've filled that in so let's go uh, duplicate that command or control j and we have the duplicated layer command t shift command or uh, shift option allows us to constrain proportions and keep it going so we'll just kind of drag it around that's gotten a wee bit busy. Shift Option, make sure we hold on to that while we move this around. Cool, accept the transformation. Let's lower the opacity on that so that, or do we want to lower the opacity on the middle one? Let's take a look there. Ooh, no, we don't want to do that. Just lower the opacity on the bottom one. That gives us another Another, just another little layer, a hint of the horns in the background so that they're, it doesn't get too overwhelming. So do you notice now that we don't see the drop shadow quite as much from the bottom one, but it's still, still there, so I think we've got a lot of depth and things. Color-wise, on the bottom, if we're not sure of what we'd like to do, we can go to this options down here and put in a use saturation uh, adjustment layer. Now, the use saturation adjustment layer will allow you to adjust. Actually, I like what's kind of happening there. I'm not sure if I... Looks pretty cool against the black, doesn't it? Anyway, these are all things that you can play with. We can add more saturation. We say, okay, oh, we're not getting any change in colors, are we? You know why? Because we have a gray image. So if we go down to the bottom color, let's go change make that background a layer zero and we could say okay or we could um, very quickly if you want to do that faster and not have that dialog box pop up you can hold down the option key and double click on the background and automatically it's a layer zero let's go back to our color picker and let's throw in something maybe more blue 
How about something in the blue neighborhood? Okay, and we can hit Option or Alt Delete, and now it's blue. Wow, that changed colors. It's not blue, is it? Well, we have this adjustment layer up above us here that now is active because we've moved it around. But now we're able to kind of pick and choose our colors a little bit more, how much saturation we want. We can lighten it or darken it. I think a little bit darker is going to be cool. Anyway, you get the idea. So that's a way that we can step up and, and start to add more depth and dimension. Is this a finished piece? By no means whatsoever. But the story goes on, more tutorials to come, and we'll move to step three in Step and Repeat, which will include some blend modes. I'm Bob Coates, and I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.